Yo. Yo, 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 yo. Um, I wasn't even going to make this video, but I keep seeing things about it. And I'm going to try to lo loosely recreate one of the situations I've seen. But basically, I want to talk about whiffing. And this video is not even going to be that long because it's a pretty cut and dry thing. It's just something that Netherrealm didn't do. It's kind of like rollback. It's not. Okay. It's a little different. It, it It's not impossible to fix this problem. But it's probably a lot more difficult to fix this problem now that your game is already out the door and been on shelves for a year and some change, as opposed to fixing this problem from the ground up, right? So what am I talking about, right? There are very, very, very many whiffing issues, and not just in this game. Happens in plenty of NRS games. This game has been probably the worst of them all. But there's been some examples I see all the time. People talk like you go on Twitter, just type in MK11, you'll see some shit whiffing. It, it's it's a very very normal thing. Let's see if I can get this one happening in. Let's see. There's a range. If I can get this to happen again. Whoa! Didn't mean to do that. Nah. Traded. There's a certain range, right? And there's a video on Twitter that um, shows it a lot better than I can. But basically, you can meaty somebody and do it properly to where you should hit their character. But when they're getting up off the ground and mash, they will hit you out of what you're doing. And it there's been a surge in people waking up with buttons lately because it works, right? Like coming off the ground into a jab string or whatever seems to have some form of some type of invincibility, which is fucking wrong. That's one problem. Um that shouldn't exist, right? You should get no type of if you didn't do an invincible wake up like if you if I'm in in the middle mid string and you try to wake up with a button, you should not and maybe it's not invincibility, maybe it's just you get up off the ground so fast that there's so little like recovery in between when you're on the ground and when you're standing and can go into a button that like the six frame, like Gears is jab is seven frames, right? The seven frames that it takes you to jab fits right in between their string. No, bro, that should never work. It should, that's something that should just never exist and never work, right? But that's a little bit more on a specific point. I want to talk about whiffing just in general, right? I want to talk about just whiffing in general. Because whiffing is something that's been a problem for God knows how long, dude. NRS games always have this stupid ass problem and they never they never want to fix it. Um, but let me let me show you another example. I'm Picatana. I'm pick one of the fucking tallest characters in the game. Whoa, no, he his crouching hitbox is fucking tiny for whatever reason. Who doesn't have a tiny crouching hitbox? Shao, Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn. That's, <laughs> that's another thing, and that's what I'm, I'm gonna get into that too. We're gonna get to all this shit. This video is not gonna be long, but I'm gonna get to everything because it's not that complicated. It's just an incompetent developer, honestly, is what it is. Like, there's really no excuse for this shit. Like, for the people who love MK, love MK11, cool, that's good for you. But you gotta stop excusing the bullshit, bro. You have to, because you're letting them get away with it. Like, I, I'm, I'm ready to stop buying these games because they refuse to fix them. Um. Anyway, so look, this is a high, right? You see how this move doesn't go anywhere over Shao Kahn's head? It's a high. It's registered as a high. No matter where, where it goes on the screen, it's registered as a high. It's going to be a high, and he can duck it. This move cannot hit him while he's ducking because it's a high. So moves in this game are programmed, right? This is a mid. This is a mid. You're ducking. You can get hit by a mid. He's blocking, whatever. This is a mid. This is a low, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What they this is how you fix the whiffing problem. What they needed to do, right? Because, for example, for example, Shao Kahn's a fucking bad example. Uh, but if I pick like Kotal Khan or something, I guarantee you, or maybe, maybe we're down for, maybe we're down for, maybe we're down for. Let's see, let's test this out, just see if I can show you. You see that? You see do you see what's happening there? And this is not this is low profiling, it's not just whiffing whiffing. But do you see how 
my attack is go his attack is going under mine and mine is a mid like moves in this game i understand you want to have real real hitboxes real hurt boxes right her swipe is only this high up in the air so you want it to hit where it there's like the move is gonna have a hitbox right the the hitbox of the move is only gonna be so much right you want it to be realistic to the animation got it but then in the same time you have shit like this where the animation and the hitbox is literally right there in the whiffs so if they were gonna do this with this game what they should have done is they should have just they should have laid out on the screen certain areas like hey if you're a low you cover all this range if you're a mid you cover all this range if you're a high you cover this range but you can't hit anybody ducking right because as it stands mids in this game can be low profiled mids in this game can be low profiled everything that's not a low can be low profiled highs are supposed to be because they're highs he can duck all this because it's a high that's that's the nature of the game right as you can see me stabbing right through his head it goes behind him that's how it's supposed to be but for mids and this is this is um what was i gonna say i lost my train of thought there but um but for mids and this is not the katana thing this is every character in the game right all right this is a mid you know what i mean like this is a high so it's gonna as you can see it's gonna whiff right that's a high this is a high that's a mid, but you know, like for for mids, right? You you can get under them. Like there is nothing in the game that says, "Hey, if I do a mid, no matter where you are on the screen, as long as you're not in the air, if you're crouching, if you're standing, if you're on the floor, there is nothing that says I will hit you." And that needs to exist in this game. So, like for certain characters, right? Let's get a better example. Let's get a much better example. <clears throat> For certain characters, right? I like the Katana example. I like the Aaron Katana example. Black. Oh shit, I have so many Aaron Blacks in this bitch. <laughs> but, I'm gonna, like, here's a good example. Of something that's in the game. And this is like... I know that this isn't the whiffing that you think of when you think of whiffing. You're like, nah, I just mean when I do my string and like my string should hit him, but then it doesn't. Trust me, this will, this would cover that problem. Oh shit, hold on one second. You see that? You see how I can't hit him? The second hits can, but you see how, watch. How that whiffs cleanly over him, even though it's a mid, which it theoretically should punish him. There need, there should have been from the ground up design in this game. That's why I, earlier I was gonna say, this is like robot Nick code. This is something that you should have put in your game from day one. You should have a, uh, not a hierarchy, but you should have like a stacking system. Like all low hitting moves have the hurt box, have the hit box from the ground to this high up in the air. If it's a, if you're in this range, you will get hit by a low. Um, mids can hit people grounded all the way up until this high in the air, right? This is where the mid hitbox ends. Then you have highs, and then they have that hitboxes and overheads or whatever the animation is or whatever, whatever, whatever. But that since nothing like that exists in this game, since not a thing like that exists, you end up with shit like this, and you end up with shit like characters whiffing on people in different situations in which they really shouldn't whiff. Like, there's no priority system in this game where, like, uh, like, highs beat lows, lows beat highs. There are no light, heavy, or, um, light, medium, or heavy in this game, so there's no priority in that sense, but there is no certain buttons beat other buttons, right? Doesn't exist. But, like, you just can't have this, bro. If you're going to have your game, like, oh, highs are always going to whiff if you ducking. Cool. But you need to make it so mids are always going to hit. 
mid like what's the point of doing a mid or having a mid if it's not gonna do mid shit because then it come because then it'll come down to what's the specific animation for the character's mid and then the characters are gonna be better or worse based on what you mo capped which is fucking stupid which doesn't make any sense it's not about the range of the it, it's like what did you do you got a swipe well Liu Kang has a low hitting kick so it's probably gonna hit where you will whiff right and then for like waking up like there needs to be there needs to be no it, there, sh there shouldn't be like you should be vulnerable if you decide to wake up with no option the whole point of giving you the whole point of giving you wake up options hold on one second what the fuck is this off and then we're gonna have them get him more on he can stand <laughs> the whole point of, of giving you these wake up options as you can see the whole point of giving you these options is so you can get invincibility so if you don't wake up you should not get any sort of and it's not just like invincibility right right now watch this I've never done this with these two characters ever I'm gonna just try it whoa Oh, this is a good streak. That's just a punish. Yeah, that's just slightly after. If I do it regular, yeah. Yeah, but anyway. You just should not be able to, if you delay wake up, whatever. But you should not be able to wake up like in the middle of my stream. With Katana, she seems she can she can mediate pretty well with this, which is good. But there's a lot of instances where characters like they knock you down, they go into a string, and then you can just hit them out of it without doing an invincible wake up. And like you should not have that because whatever move they do if they do a mid it doesn't matter if the move physically just like just like when you're ducking right just like even though my animation says i hit you i don't hit you if my animation says i didn't hit you with a mid i should still fucking hit you because it's a mid that's the whole point of it being a mid like that's what it's for it's so it won't whiff on people ducking and crouching right if mids are like, if, if I was, if I had to do a low, if that was a situation, you need to do a low. It's the only way to hit them. Okay, then why do mids work on crouchers? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's just silly. It's just they should have universalized it from the start and said, okay, if you're at the height Aaron Black is now or anywhere lower, mids will hit you, lows will hit you, highs will not. That's what they should have done. And then highs will hit people standing higher up than this. They can't be in a crouch state or any lower than this. Once they get higher, than, once they get higher than this, standing, then you can hit them with highs. That's how you fix this problem. That's how you do it. But it's something that you should have done from the ground up. It's something that should have been in your game from day one. Because now you would have to go in the game and find every individual situation where something whiffs or something low profiles. And what move was it? What character was it? What move did they do? What animation did they have? And it's a pain in the ass. And that's why NetherRealm isn't going to fucking fix it. Because it's hard to fix now. But the problem is they didn't just fix it from the start. That's why I was saying it's like Roback Neko, because if you just do it from Jump Street, it saves you a lot of trouble. But they didn't do it, and now we have this problem. And this is only a fucking thing in Mortal Kombat, because, well, I don't want to say only, but it's a bigger thing in Mortal Kombat, because Mortal Kombat has low kicks, low point mids, highs, and not highs in the justice and shit, but it, it, the system's a little different than the way it is in this game. But hopefully this is never a thing again. Hopefully they learn how to fix it. And whatever game they work on next, hopefully from the beginning, they fix these fucking whiffing issues. And like, 
it just doesn't make any sense. Like, I think sometimes with the people waking up, they're registered as on the ground, but they're really standing up. And like, it shouldn't matter, bro. If they're on the ground, they're not like, if they're on the ground in a knockdown state, cool. But you, there's only so many frames that you're in a knockdown state. And then you, you should be in a get up state, whether you decide to do a wake up or not. Once you're in that get up state, you should be vulnerable. You should be vulnerable because if there's any type of invulnerability, invincibility, or whatever, then you have an advantage for not doing shit. You didn't spend any meter, didn't spend any resources, and you have an advantage. You can mash wake up buttons. You know what I mean? And you win for mash and wake up buttons, which is stupid. You should not get that. So anyway, um, I was just seeing a lot of shit about that. It was on my mind, so I wanted to just talk about it. But this is literally the way to fix the problem. This is all you have to do. All you have to do, <laughs> fix like the waking up state shit, fix that, um, fix the priority of mids, make mids always hit, make mids hit, make mids hit people on the ground. <clears throat> like when Aaron Black does his drop kick and he's on, when just so I'm clear, just so y'all understand what I'm saying, I think y'all do, I'm sure you do, but just so I'm clear, he should get hit. He should get hit every time. You see that? He should get hit every time. Every fucking time. He should like even though he's EX in his gun, he should still he should still get punished. That swipe should hit him. I don't care that the animation Oh, but she clearly would I don't care. It's a mid. It's a mid. It should hit him. Like this is how you solve this problem. Just so y'all know. So anyway. I'm done ranting. Y'all have a good night. I'm tired of uh, subscribing, all that shit, if you like the content. Peace.